300 miles above the Earth, a satellite smaller than a shoebox is sending back high-resolution video and images. And researchers say satellites like this are going to be the future of space travel and exploration. This is Ben Gurion University's BGU Nano Satellite, a climate satellite small enough to fit in your desk drawer. Nano satellites are ultra lightweight and could be launched into orbit by the hundreds. The university's was one of 104 aboard its launch. We showed, and this BGU set has showed a technology demonstration that we could take all this huge satellites that we used to launch and were very expensive, and we'd reduce this technology into this little cube Okay, that could do the same job of a satellite that is big as a bus. Costs are why researchers think nanosatellites are the future. The bigger a satellite is, the more fuel is needed to launch it, which adds even more weight itself. But their potential dwarfs their size, as the university pioneers custom nanosats. Our next satellite, the Negevsat, is going to be um, developed here at the university and we are developing a new camera for it, which is a hyperspectral camera. And that is a payload that exists on no other nanosatellites to this day. That payload will be able to make climate measurements and weather observations. It can also find targets of interest for the military. Normally, this is the work of multiple giant satellites. These tiny machines can be built for just a few hundred thousand dollars. And that combination of low cost and potential is why the university has a lab dedicated to these satellites. The environment here, the studying environment, is amazing. Our superiors don't treat us as students, they treat us as colleagues. And the main thing is that we get hands-on experience doing and developing crazy things. You know? It's more than academic. Israeli companies have started betting on these satellites. One hopes to set up cheap internet by releasing a swarm of them. About three billion people on Earth do not have access to the internet. Uh, we are going to service all of them because our constellation using our technology will cover the entire planet, both air, sea, and land. How are you? So while Israel's hopes and dreams to land on the moon came crashing down, Israel's dreams to make a mark on space still fly high.